Alright, subpart D specification non pressure tanker cars classes dot 111 AW and 115 AW. 179 200 general specification applicable to non pressure tanker cars in tanker class dot 111. 179 201 tanker cars built under the specification must meet the requirements of 179 200 and 179 201. 179-203. Tank, um, tank built under the specification must be circular when cross-section with the formed head the design convex outward. When specified with the end section head statute 179-2011, the tank must have at least one runway, one expansion dome, manway, and as some of the external projections are prescribed herein. When the tank is divided into compartments, each compartment must be treated as a separate tank. 179-204. Insulation. If insulation is applied for the tank shell expansion dome, when the youth must instead be used install and B must be installed with an improved material with the entire insulation must be covered with a metal jacket of a thickness not less than one at eleven a gauge nominal manufacturer standard gauge flush around the all around openings and as well with the weather type the expected exterior surface of the carbon steel tank and emitted inside surface of the carbon steel jacket must be given a protecting coating. Insulation specification requirement is shall be sufficient thickness in the thermal conduct and at sixty degrees Fahrenheit, not more than um two hundred and twenty five Thousands BTUs per minute uh, temperatures um, BTUs per hour per square foot per degree of temperature are different unless otherwise provided in statute 179201 in the exterior heaters attached to the tank. The thickness for the insulation over each of the heater element may reduce to one half the required shell for the required shell. Thickness and plate. The wall thickness are forming with the tank shell, dome shell, and two to one ellipsoid heads must not be less than specified in statute 179201, nor the calculated with the following formula. T equals PD over 2SE. Inside diameter inches E, D, E equals nine tenths of a, of a well jointed efficiency except as 1.0 of the seamless heads. PM. P minimum um, P minimum required bursting pressure and psi gauge s minimum tensile strength of plate material in psi as prescribed in statute 179207 t minimum thickness of plate and thickness after forming b the wall thickness of forming a three to one ellipsoid head must not be less than specified in the statute 179211 nor the calculator of the following formula. T equals PD over 2SE times 1.83. D is the inside diameter inches. E is the tenth of a nine, nine, nine tenths of a welded joint efficiency except for 1.1, 1. 1, um, 1.0 for seamless heads. Oh, minimum required bursting pressure in PSI gauge. S, um, minimum tensile strength of the plate material in PSI prescribed in statute 179207. T is the minimum thickness for the plate in inches after forming. See the wall thickness uh, after forming the flange and dish um, dish head must be not less than specified with 179-201-1, nor the calculated with the following formula. T equals 5 PL over 6 SEL. Um, 9 tenths of well joint efficiency except for the 1.0 for seamless edge. Main, L means main inside radius for which the head is diminished measured for the concave side in inches. P minimum required bursting pressure in PSI gauge. S minimum tensile strength from the plate material in PSI as prescribed in statute 179 207. And T minimum thickness of the plate in, th in inches after forming. If the plates are clad material having tensile strength, the properties for the least equal to the base plate of the cladding must maybe may be considered the part of the base plate when determining the thickness of the cladding material does not have the tensile strength that the least equal to the base plate. The base plate alone must be meet the thickness requirements. Form form a tank constructed with longitudinal sections minimum with the bottom of the sheet and must be must be 60 inches measured at the arc and in all cases the width must be sufficient to bring in the entire width of the longitudinal welded joint, including weld above the bolster. For the tank built um, of one cylinder cylindrical section, the, the thickness specification for the bottom sheet must apply with the entire cylindrical section. So, 179,209 for the thickness requirements for the compartment tank. All right, 179,207 um, materials. The plate, can, pl plate of material used for the fabricated the tank of linen used for the expansion dome with the man weight announced for the material must be meet one of the following specifications for the indicated with the minimum tensile strength and elongation of the welded condition. Carbon steel plate. The maximum allowable carbon content must be um, 3100% um, of the individual specification allowing the carbon content greater than the amount of the plates might be clad with approved materials. See aluminum alloy plate. Aluminum alloy plate must be suitable for the welding and accompanied with one of the following specifications. IBRC 7171.7 for the subchapter. 
High alloy steel plate, high alloy steel plate must comply with one of the following specifications. Nickel plate must be complied with the following specifications. See I one one seventy one seven for the subchapter. A magnesium mon mono build steel plate, mono magnesium moly bendium steel plate it must be sub subtle for the fusion welding complying with the following specification IBRC one seventy one seven for the subchapter. All parts of the item construction for the contact landing must be made with the material compatible with the plate of the material not subject for the rapid deterioration and landing of the coating in line with the suitable corrosion with the resistant material. All external projections may be contact with landing and all casting forge and fabrications used with the fitting attachments to the tank and expansion dome when used for the contact with lading may be must be made with the materials to approve specifications. See AAR specification for the tanker carts Appendix MM 4.05, IBR 177 for the subchapter approved above approved for the material specification for the casting and the fittings. 179 208, tank, head tank heads. External tank heads must be ellipsoid revolution in which the major axis must equal the diameter of the shell. Minor axle must be one half the major axis. Internal compartment of the tank head may be two, two, and a half, two to one ellipsoid, three to one ellipsoid, ellipsoid or flange dish and thickness for the specified in statute 179 206. Flange dish heads must have the main inside radius not exceeding 10 feet, the inside the knuckle and radius must not be less than three, and three quarters of an inch of steel alloy or nickel tanks are not less than five inches of the alloy aluminum, aluminum alloy tanks. 179 209 compartment tanks. When a tank is divided into the corners by inserting the interior heads, the interior head must be inserted with the corners with the AR specification for the tanker cards appendix EE 7.00. IBRC 1717 for the subchapter must comply with the requirements specified in statute 179 211. Voids between the compartment mu heads must be provided with at least one tap drain hole at their lowest point in the tapped hole at the top of the tank. The top hole must be closed, the bottom of the hole must be closed. Um, with not less than three quarter of an inch, three quarter of an inch, not more than one half an inch solid pipe plugs having P NPT threads. When the tank is divided into the compartments construction, each of the compartment is a separate tank. These tanks shall be joined together with a cylindrical plate made of plate having thickness and not less than required with the tank shell and applied with the outside surface of the tank head flange to the cylinder shall fit the train flange portion of the compartment tank head and tightly with the cylinder shall contact the head of the flange for the distance at least two times the plate thickness minimum of one inch whatever the greater the cylindrical sh shape shall adjoin with the end head of the flange for the full fill at well distances from the heme uh, the head of the seam of the cylinder shall not be less than one and one half inches or three times the plate thickness whichever is greater the voids greater with the space between the heads of the tank joined together to form a compartment tank so provide with a tap drain hole at least one point and tap hole at the top of the tank the top hole shall be closed with the bottom of the holes and it may be closed with a solid pipe of the plug not less than three quarter of an inch or not more than one and one half inches by having NPT threads all right, 279, 179, 210. All joints shall be fusion welded in compliance with the requirements of the AR specification tank cards. Uh, Appendix W, IBRC 171.7 for the subchapter. Welding procedures and welder fabricators shall be approved. Welding, and, uh, welding is not permitted on duct, inductile iron malleable iron fittings. 179, 211. Post heated weld, weld treatment. Post weld treatment treatment. Specification 179, 201. One welding is complete with a possible post weld heat treatment must be in, must be in compliance with the requirements of the air specification with the tanker cars appendix W or IBRC 171.7 of the subchapter. 179 213 main way, main way ring of the flange pressure relief device for the bottom of the outlet nozzle flange and without fl nozzle flange or other attachments of the openings. The attachment shall be fusion welded to the tank reinforced with the approved manner with the compliance with the requirements of the appendix E for the figure 10 of the AR specification standards of the tanker cars. The opening of the manway ring must be at least six inch, 16 inches in diameter except for the acidic resistant line. The manways must be at least 18 inches in diameter before lining. The manway ring flange shall be made with the cast and forge and fabricated metal. The metal the dome and the tank of the nozzle shall be, must be compatible with the manway ring or flange so that they may be welded together. The openings of the manway or other fittings shall be reinforced with the approved manner. 179, 214, expansion capacity. The tank shall have, shall have the expansion capacity with the prescribed the subchapter of the capacity shall be provided with the tank of the class for the dot 111A and the cars in the dome of the dot 103 and 104 type car. The, for the tank the having an expansion dome, the expansion capacity 
is uh, the total capacity of each of the tank of the dome, com and dome combined with the capacity of the dome, shape of the measure with the inside of the top of the shell, and in the inside top of the dome, and the bottom of the, any of the vent prior pipe project inside of the dome, except that the y when a pressure relief device is applied with the side of the dome, the effective capacity of the dome shall be measured from the top of the measure relieving the device opening in the inside of the dome to inside of the top of the shell tank. The opening of the tank shall be within the dome shell and shall have the being at least 29 inches of the diameter. When the opening of the tank shell exceeds 30 inches of the diameter, the opening shall be reinforced in an improved manner. The additional reinforce may accomplish by using the dome opening on the fluid type as shown in figure appendix A, E. Figure E ten C and of the of the AR specification for the tank cars by the use of the reinforcing of the outline in the pens E E three point zero two four and figures E ten K and E ten eleven sorry ten L when the op opening of the tank shall be less than the inside diameter of the dome, the dome pocket is not closed. But if then approved, the dome pocket drain shall be provided from the tank. This shall be a nipple projecting inside of the tank, at least one inch. T, the dome head shall be approved for the counter and shall be designed with the pressure of a concave side. Aluminum alloy dome for the dome this shell thickness shall be made, shall be calculated by the formula 179206A. To the dome head may be ellipso ellipsoid with the resolution when in which the major axis shall be equal to the diameter of the dome and the shell with the major, minor axis shall be one half of the major axis thickness for the case shall be for determined by the using of the formula 179206A. The dome is dished, must be dished at to a radius not exceeding 96 inches. The thickness of the dish dome head must be, must be calculated with the formula in 179206C. All right, tangles shall be shall be reinforced by additional plate equal with the greater or the shell thickness with the cross-sectional area with the shell exceed with the metal removed the dome opening. Tank sh the tank shell shall be reinforced by a seamless saddle plate equal to the greater than the shell thickness and butt weld. Tank shell, the reinforcing saddle plate shall be provided with the fluid open having fl vertical flange diameter of the dome of butt welding shall be the dome of the flange. Reinforcing saddle plate shall extend about the dome distance measured along the shell tank. At least equal to the extension of the top tank. Other approved design may be used. 179 215 closure of the manway. Manway covers must be an improvement type. Manway covers shall be designed to provide secure closure for the manway. The manway covers must be approved for the cast or forged fabricated metal malleable iron if you must be complied with the ASCM A47 grade 350 18 cast iron manway covers must not be used. Um, all joints made between the manway covered in their seats shall be made with the tight leakage of the vapor liquid may be made by gasket suitable material. For other manway cover requirements, see statute 179-2011. 179-216, gazing, topping, loading, unloading devices, venting of the air inlet valve. When installed with the device, shall be approved the design, which prevent for the interchange with any of the other fixtures. Be tight and closed for the unloading of the pipes. They'll be securely anchored within the tank. Each of the tank compartment may be equipped with one separate air connection. When the characteristic of the commodity of the witch for the authority of the are such that the device must be equipped with the valves and fittings to permit the loading and unloading of the contents of these devices include the valves shall be improved with the design and be provided with the protective housing except with the, with the when plug or ball type valves or opening of the handle with the remove that is used. Provisions shall be made with the closing pipe connections of the valve. The tank may be equipped with the valve vacuum relief valve with approved with the design. Protective housing is not required when using a visual gauging device on the device, on the car. The hinge manway or an out age scaled visible through the manway opening shall be provided with enough unloading if sorry if loading the device are applied with the permit to take loading with the void clo cover closed and a telltale pipe may be provided a telltale pipe shall be capable of determining the required outages provided with the pipe shall be equipped with a one quarter inch minimum mpt control valve mounted on the outside of the tank and enclosed within the housing and the other approved devices may be used with the lube of the outage of the scale and telltale pipe but the, the bottom of the tank may be equipped with a sump with a siphon hole on bowl with the both welded and pressed into the shell. The such pumps and siphon bowls, if applied but not limited to the size, must be made with a cast and forged fabricated metal. Each sump and siphon bowl must be good welding quality in conjunction with the metal of the tanker shell. When the sump of the siphon bowl is pressed in the, the bottom of the, of the tank, the shell and the wall thickness of the press section shall be must not be less than um, that specified for the shell. The section of the circular cross section tank to which the sump and the siphon bowl is attached needed to not comply without the uh, roundness of the requirements specified in Appendix W W fourteen point zero six of the AAR specification tank requires any portion of the sump siphon bowl not forming the um, a part of the cylinder through revolution must have the walls of such thickness being reinforced with the stress in the walls caused by the given internal pressure for the not greater greater than the circum 
uncomfortable stress which would exist under the same internal pressure but the wall tank of the circular cross section designed in accordance with the statute 179 206 a and d and in no case shall the wall thickness not be, be less than specified in 179 201 one when top loading the discharge device venting in the air the inlet devices are installed with exposed piping to remove the location shutoff valves must be applied directly to reinforce the pad nozzles at their communication through the tank shell and must be enclosed with protective housing with the provisions of the for a seal. The piping must be included a breakage groove and the suitable bracing of the relief valve must be applied with the liquid lines of protection. In case of the landing of the traps, the provisions must be made to ensure closure of the valves and while the car is in transit. Protective housing, when required, must be fabricated with approved material that have covering the eyeballs not less than 119 thousandths of an inch in thickness. 179-217, bottom outlets. In indicated by the statute 179-2011, tank that may be equipped with the bottom outlet. Bottom outlet is applied, must comply with the following requirements. Well, the extreme projection of the bottom outlet equipment may not be more than the, the allowed in the appendix E with the AR specification tanker cars. All the bottom outlet producers closures and, and their attachments shall be secured with the QR at least 3 8 inch in chain and or equivalent except with the bottom of the outlet closure plugs may be attached with one quarter inch chain. The bottom outlet closure is a combination for the cap of the valve type of the pipe connection with the valve shell be submitted. It shall be closed with the plug and cap of the proof with the quick valve coupling device. The bottom outlet the equipment shall be included on the valve only to the valve reducers and closure for the, that are Necessary for the attachment unloading fixture, the permanent attachment of the supplementary exterior fittings shall be approved by the AR Committee with the tanker cars. Bottom outlet must be approved with the construction provided with the liquid light tight tank closure for the lower end. One of the car in the center sill with the ball of output may be welded with the outside of the bottom of the tank mounted with the pad nozzle with the tongue of the groove of the male and the female attachment. In no case to show the breakage groove with the equivalent extended below the bottom of the flange of the center sill on the car with the only continuous center sill with the ball valve may be welded to the outside bottom of the tank of the mounted with the, within the tongue of the groove of the male, male and female flange attachment pad attachment pad attached to the outside of the bottom of the tank. The mounting of the pad must, uh, have, must have a minimum thickness of two and a half inches measured from the longitude center line of the tank. The valve operating mechanism must be provided with a suitable locking arrangement to the ensure positive closure during pr transit. The valve opening operating mechanism for the valve supplied with the interior of the tank outlet and nozzle construction must ensure the against the unseating of the valve due to the stress and shocks and in, 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 to the transportation. Bottom outlet nozzle and exterior interior and valve body, body exterior Valves must be cast fabricated with the forged metal with the um, weld of the tank that must be a good weld the bullet quantity in conjunction with the metal tank. To provide with the attachment unloading connection the discharge end of the bottom outlet nozzles and reuse of the valve with the body with the exterior valve, some of the fixed attachment there must shall be provided with one of the following arrangements or an improved modification thereof. See Appendix E with the figure E17 of the AR specification for tanker cars for illustration of some of the possible arrangements. 1. The bottle um, bolted flange closure arrangement, including the minimum 1 inch NPT pipe plug, with, or included with the auxiliary valve with the threaded closure, a uh, threaded cap closure arrangement, including the minimum 1 inch NPT pipe thread, um, or including auxiliary valve with a threaded closure. 3. A quick coupling device using the threaded pump pl plug closure at least 1 inch of the NPT, having the thread cap closure with a minimum 1 inch NPT pipe plug. Um, minimum one inch auxiliary test valve within the thread closure may be substituted with one inch pipe plugs. If the thread cap closure does not have the pipe plug integral auxiliary test valve, and the minimum one inch NPT pipe valve plug shall be installed in the outlet nozzle above the closure. See figure E177. All right, four, a two-piece coupling of the device uh, using a clap dust must be included with the inline auxiliary valve with either the integral quick coupling device. Or located to the um between the bottom of the, the bottom of the primary bottom of the outlet valve with a quickly quick coupling device. The quick coupling device closure dust cap outlet nozzle shall be fitted with a minimum of one inch NPT closures. If the outlet nozzle extends six inches no more than the, more from the shell of the, of the tank, the V-shaped breakage groove shall be cut. No cat, not a cast in the upper part of the outlet nozzle and the point of the immediately below the lowest part of the valve, the closest to the tank. In no case should made there the nozzle wall thickness at the root of the V be more than one quarter inch the outlet nozzle in the interior valve of the valve. 
Body of the exterior valve uh, may be steam with the jacket in which we gave through the breakage, but the groove of the equivalent must be below, below the steam chamber the, above the bottom of the center cylinder construction. If the outlet nozzle is not single piece, if the exterior walls are applied with the provision shall be made with the equivalent to the breakage groove on the cars with the continuous center cell of the breakage groove, the equivalent must be no more than 15 inches below the tank shell on the cars with continuous center cell of the breakage groove, and the equivalent must be above the bottom of the center cell of construction. The flange of the outlet nozzle valve body exterior valves must be in the thickness walls of the, um, which prevent the distortion of the valve seat of the valve by any charge with the contour shell, shell re resulting from the expansion of the landing. Other cases in which they ensure the axonal breakage of the outlet valve outlet nozzle with a curve with the below the V groove of the is equivalent. The valve must have no wings with the steam projection below the V groove of the equivalent. The valve of the seat must be readily accessible and removable for repairs, including grinding. The valve operating mechanism of the interior valves must be made for the compensation of the variation in the vertical diameter of the tank produced by the expansion of the wave of the liquid components. Other causes may operate with the interior of the tank, but in, event the rod, in the event the rod is carried through the dome and the tank shell leakage must um, must be prevented by packaging, packing the stuffing in the box or other suitable seals or caps. If indicated within section 179201, the tank may be equipped with the bottom washout with the roof of the construction applied with the bottom washout shall be accordance with the following requirements. Extreme projection of the bolt bottom washout equipment may not be more than a cloud expanding. Appendix E of the AAR specification of the tank cars bottom washout will be shall be cast out of the forged fabricated well um, fabricated metal of the well of the tank that shall be good with the weldable quality in conjunction with the metal of the tank. If the washout nozzle extends six inches in one or more than sh from the shell of the tank, the V-shaped groove breakage um, break, breakage groove shall be cut. No cast in the upper part of the nozzle and point but immediately below the lowest part of the inside closure seat plug. It's no case because. If in no case bang with the nozzle and the thickness of the roof, the V need more than one quarter inch to be aware the nozzle is not in single piece. The vision shall be made with the equivalent of the breakage groove. The nozzle must be made with the thickness to ensure the accidental breakage which will occur at and below the V groove of the equivalent on cars with the continuous center cell. The breakage groove and its equivalent may be not more than 15 inches below the outer shell on cars with the continuous center, center cell. The breakage groove or its equivalent must be above the bottom of the center cell construction. Closure plug and seat must be readily accessible and removable for Repairs including grinding. The closure of the washout nozzles must be equipped with three quarter inch solid screw plugs. The plugs must be maintained, must be attached by at least one quarter inch chain joints between the closure and their seats may be gasketed with suitable material. All right, 179-219 reinforcement when used with the improvements is no other, well, not otherwise specified. All attachments tank of the dome shall be applied with approved means for the rivets used that shall be cocked from the inside and outside. Reinforced pads must be used between the external brackets for the shell attachment welds using exceeding the six lineal inches and one quarter inch filled with equivalent weld and bare bracket of the bracket leg. When reinforcement pads are used, they must be not be less than one fourth of an inch in the thickness and have them each corner rounded to one inch minimum radius and be attached to the tank of the continuous fill weld except with the venting provisions the ultimate shear strength of the bracket is reinforced pad weld it must not exceed 85 percent of the ultimate shear strength of the reinforcement pad of the tanker weld 179 200 221 closure of openings all plugs shall be some um, solid with the mpt threads shall be length width which the screw at least six threads Inside the facing of the fitting of the tank of the plugs, well, inserted with the outside of the tank heads, shall have the letter S or at least three eighths of an inch in stamp and side stamp with a steel stamp and cast of the outside of the surface indicating plug is solid. 179.22. Um, 22 testing tanks. Each tank shall be tested by completely filling the tank dome with the nozzle of the water with the other liquid having the similar velocity of the temperature which has, shall not exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit. During the test, applying the pressure of the prescribed in statute 179 201 one, the tank shall hold the prescribed pressure for at least 10 minutes without leakage of the evidence of the distress. All rivets, closures, except the safety relief valves and safety vent valves shall be in place when the test is made. Insulated tanks shall be tested before the insulation is applied. Rubber line tanks shall be tested before the rubber lining is applied. Caulking welding joints to the stop of developing during the foregoing test is prohibited. Repairs and welds joints shall be made with the prescribed and AR specification of the tanker cars. Appendix WIBR 171 says in the subchapter. 179 223 test the pressure relief valves. Each valve shall be tested with air or gas compliance with 179 15 before being put into service. 
179-224 stamping. To certify the tank complies with all the specification requirements, each tank shall be plain with the permanent lease stamps in the letters, figures, and lease three eighths of an inch high of the metal or the nearest center bolt of the outside heads. Specification material, cladding, material tanking, building, and initials, data, or date of original test, car assembler, if or than the tank builder. On class dot 111 tank card, the last numeral of the specification number may be omitted from the stamping, but for example, the dot 11A 100W. Two set 179-201. Individual specification requirements for the applicable non-pressure tank car tanks. 179-201. Individual specification requirements. The dot specification insulation bursting pressure PSI minimum thickness gate thickness minimum plate thickness test pressure bottom outlet bottom washout references. All right, 179 reserve, 179 line tanks. Rubber line tanks, each of the tank for each of the compartment, therefore, must be lined with a yes and resistant, resistant rubber or other for proof of the rubber compound vulcanized with bounded directly with the metal tank to provide non purist laminated lining at least through I-32 has been in thick, except for the overall rivet seam form of the rivets attachment. The lining must be double thickness. The rubber lining must overlap at least one and a half inch, uh, one and one and a half inches at least. If the edge must be straight and be beveled to the angle with approximately 45 degrees, but it Edge of the lining must be sealed with three inch minimum strip of um, lining having 45 degree beveled angles. As an alternative method, the lining may be joined with a skibbeted butt seam, um, but then the cap with a separate strip of the lining three inch of the width, width and wide having 45 inch beveled edges. Additional rubber reinforcement pad at least four and a half feet square and less uh, at least four and a half inch thick must be applied with the volcanoized lining of the bottom of the tank directly under the bandway. Opening the edges in the rubber may be must may be beveled to an angle to approximately 45 degrees. An opening of this pad and sump the permitted no lining might, may, must be under Tension when applied, except due to the conformation, conformate, conform, conformation of over rivet head, heads, the interior tank must be free of scale and oxidation, mist moisture, and all foreign material during the lining operation. Other approved lining materials may be provided with the material of resistance to corrosion within the solvent or action of the lining of the liquid or gas. Phase or suitable surface of the temperatures before the tanker car is lined with the rubber or other rubber compound. The report certifying that the tank is equal to or equal, equal the tank and its equipment have been brought into compliance with the specification dot one eleven A six W six zero W five and one eleven A one hundred W one hundred W five must be furnished with the car owner party one who is applied with lining a copy of the report is approved with the certifying the tank be lined with the compliance with all the requirements for one of these above specification must be furnished with the party lining the tank of the car owner the reports of the latest lining application must be retained with the car owner until the next relining has been accomplished or recorded. Over head, rivet heads inside the tank must be button head, um, similar shape with the bone, uniform side, but the sur undersurface of the head must be driven tight against the plate with all the plates casting and the rivets heads inside of the tank must be caulked and all projecting edges with the plates and the casting of the rivet heads inside of the tank must be rounded, free from fins and other irregular projections. Casting must be free from porosity. All surfaces and attachment fitting to their closure expo exposed to the landing of more covered than at least one eighth of an inch in acid and resistant material attachments must be made um, attachments made of metal not affected, but the landing may need not to be covered with rubber or other acid resistant materials. High hard rubber and polyvinyl chloride may be used with the pressure really retaining parts and safety vents provided with a material resistant corrosive and or solvent acting landing on liquid or gas phase is suitable for the surface temperature of poly um Polychloride line tanks, tanker cars, and each of the compartment thereof may be lined with elastometric polyvinyl chloride having minimum of the inning lining thickness of 30, 30, 3, 3, 3, 30 second inches. Polyurethane line tank of the car, tank, tanker cars, tanks, each of the compartment there may be lined with electro, elastic metric polyurethane having minimum lining thickness of the 1 16th of an inch. Or 159-2014, material all fittings and tubes and casting all projection for the closure except for the projecting with the housing must also meet the requirements specified in ASTM A262, except when they were preparing the specimen testing a carbonized, a carbonized surface which may be furnished with the grinding of the machine. 179 2015 post heated weld post weld to heat treatment and corrosion is resistant. 
Tank and attachments welded directly there too. There must be some um, post welded in the heat of the treated under, under unit per, per, um, per proper temperature, except for the indicated below with attach and tank attachments welded directly in there into the cavitated with the ASTM A240A, A240M, A240, type 430A, and type 304, type 316 materials must be post welded. The treatment and unit must be tested with to demonstrate that they possess the corresponding erosion resistance specified in statute 179-207D, footnote 2, tanks and attachments welded directly there too by the fabricated with the ASTM A240 and A240M, type 304 and L, and type 316 L materials are not required for the post well that heat, treat, heat treated. Um, tanks and attachments welded directly thereby fabricated from the ASTM A240A and A240AM, and type 304L and type 316 materials must be tested and demonstrate that they possess the corrosion. Corrosion resistance specified in statute 279 footnote 2. 179201 maintenance and man, man, man waste and manway closures. The manway covers the spec for spec.104 W and 111A 60AL W1 111A 60W1 111A 100AL W1 111A 100W1 111AW103 or 111A AW136. W6 must be designed to protect an impossible to remove the cover which interior of the tank is subject to the pressure. The man would cover the, over the spec that 111 a 60 wf and 111 a a w 5 must be made with a suitable material. The top of the bottom edge of the manway cover that must be accepted as a resistant material cover for the prescribed 179-2013 but through the bolt holes must be lined with acid, acid resistant material at least one eighth of an inch in thickness the cover made with the metal but not attached but the lading needed not to be acid resistant metal material covered the manway ring on the cover of the specification dot 103 cw and 103 dw and 103 ew and 111 360 W7 and 111A 100W6 must be made of metal and have the same inspection procedure specified in the air specification tank of cars appendix M M3.03 IBR 171.7 over the subchapter. Alright, 179.201.8, the sampling device and thermometer welling. Sample valve and thermometer are not specification requirements when they even may, must be made with approved design made with the metal, but the subjects of the rapid deterioration of the landing must withstand a pressure of 100 psi gauge without leakage of the interior pipe. But the sample valve must be equipped with excessive flow valves of an approved design interior pipe. The thermometer must be made closed and by an approved valve attached for the closing fitting when it placed in the tank of the closed by the screw plug. The other approved arrangement that the tank, the permanent testing of the thermometer will lighten well for the leaks without complete revol removal of the closure must be used. Be reserved. All right, 179, one, um, 201 gauge. All right. The gauging device is approved. The design applied with the permitting determining the liquid level of the landing of the gauge device must be made with the materials not subject to rapid deterioration by landing. The interior of the pipe of the gauging device provided for the means of the passage for the landing. The interior of the exterior of the, of the tank and it must be equipped with an excessive flow valve with approved design if the opening of the passage landing through the gauge device is not more than six hundredths of an inch in pro, um, diameter and the excessive flow valve is not acquired the gauging device must be approved uh, added with the protective housing. All right, 171201, water capacity marking. Water capacity tank of the pounds and stencil and plainly with its permanently in letters figures and at least three-eighths of an inch high with the metal with the tank of the immediately below the sand mark specified in 179224A. The um, mark shall be extensive on the jacket immediately below the dome platform directly behind the, within three feet of the right or left side of the ladder or ladders when the, if there's a ladder on each side of the tank in the letters which figures as figures at one and one half inches high shall as shall as follows water capacity and then pounds. 179 201 11 insulation uh, one, 201 and 11 insulation insulation shall be sufficient with the thickness of the thermal conductance at 60 degrees Fahrenheit is not more than 75 thousandths of an inch of BTUs per hour per square feet and per degree Fahrenheit temperature differential be reserved. All right, 179202 um, and through two, 179 202 22 is preserved. 179.220, general specification of appliance with a non-pressure tank car tank or car, tank or car tanks, existing inner container supported with the outer shell class of dot 111, sorry, 11.5. 179.220.1, the tank built under the specification must be meet with the requirements of 179.220 and 179.221. 179.223, type. 
Um, the tank built under the specification must consist of the inner container with the support system with the inner container with the outer shell. The inner container must be fusion well the tank and in circular cross section with the form heads of design convex outward mount. The staff of the manway top tank is prescribed herein in the inner container container is divided into compartments. Each compartment must be considered a separate container. The outer shell must be in fusion well the tip the, from the form heads with the center sign convex um outward. 179 for insulation. The annual space between the inner container and the outer space shell which must contain an improved insulation material. 179 Thickness. The wall thickness for the forming of the inner container shell with a 2, 2 to 1 unlimited ellipsoid head must not be less than specified in 179 not less than calculated by the following formula. T is equal to PD over 2, 2 SE. Inside diameter is in inches. D, E is 9 tenths of a welded joint efficiency except for the 1.0 over the welded and seam heads. P is minimum required bursting pressure in PSI gauge. S is the minimum tensile strength of the plate material in PSI and prescribed in the AR specification for anchor prior or as appendix M, table M1. T is the minimum thickness of the plate in the, after forming the thick, forming the uh, the wall thickness of the inner, after forming the inner container head, uh, head of the flange damage must not be less than specified in 179.221.1 one, or not less than the calculated formula as in T equals 5 PL over 6 SE. Once again, E is 9 tenths of the welded joint efficiency except for 1.0 over the seamless heads. L means the main inside radius for the head of the dish and measured for the concave side of the inches. P measured for the bursting pressure and PSI gauge. S means minimum tensile strength of the plate materials and PSI as prescribed in the air. Specification for the tanker cars appendix M, table M1, and T minimum thickness for the plate in inches after forming. The wall thickness for the after forming the cylindrical section head of the outer shell must not be less than 6, 7 16th of an inch of an inch. And 179.229 for the plate thickness requirements of the inner container are divided into compartments. 179.227. The plate material used for the fabricate for the inner container for the nozzles must meet with one of the following specifications for the indicate for the minimum tensile strength and elongation of welded condition. B. The carbon steel minimum maximum allowable carbon content must not be more than 3100 3, of the uh, over the individual specification allowing carbon content greater than the amount the greater the plates of maybe otherwise approved materials. Specification minimal tensile strength PSI well the condition minimum elongation two inches in percent well the metal longitudinal longitudinal. All right, the spe the aluminum alloy aluminum plate must be suitable for the welding applied with one of the following specifications. The Abra one seventy one seven for the sub chapter. Um, alloy specification minimum tensile strength PSI welded condition um, maximum minimum elongation of two inches well percent welded material longitudinal high aluminum steel plate high aluminum steel plate must comply with one of the following sub specifications IBRC 1717 in the sub chapter specification minimum tensile strength PSI welded condition PSI minimum elongation two inch pendant percent welded minute longitudinal E mag magnesium moly moly pentium steel moly magnesium moly bdm steel it must be suitable for the fusion welding must comply with the following specification IBRC one seventy one seven of the sub chapter specification minimum special stank PSI condition um, minimum elongation two inches per cent of welded material longitudinal Hard right, plate materials used for the fabricate outer shelf of the head must not be uh, must those be listed in paragraph B, C, D, and E of the section maximum allowable carbon content must be within 3100 for the percent of the individual specification allowed with the carbon um, content greater than the amount of the plate may be collided with the other approved material. All prints for the inner container with the contact with the landing must be approved with the material compatible over the plate material with the inner container with the approved seed must not be less than subject to the rapid deterioration the landing must be coated with line suitable mechlorosion resistant material C appendix A our specification of the tanker cars approved the M4.05 for approved material specifications for casting and fittings. 179.228, the tanker head. Tanker head for the inner container for the inner container for the compartment's outer shell must be approved for the contour, must be a filling and dish and ellipsoid for the pressure for the concave side. Flange dish head must have the main side inside radius but not exceeding 10 feet with inside knuckle radius must not be less than 3 and 3 quarters of an inch of the steel. Alloy steel tanks not less than 5 inches. For aluminum tanks and ellipsoids, heads must be an ellipsoid for the revolution, which major axis this must be equal to the diameter of the shell. Minor axis must be even the one half the major axis. 179229 compartment tanks. The inner container may be divided with the compartments inserted with the interior heads, but 
of and by fabricating each for the compartment by the separate container with the joining of the cylinder by fabricating with it each for the compartment is separate with the tank with the joint cylinder each for the compartment must be capable of withstanding without evidence for the yielding of leakage that required for the test or pressure applied and each for the compartment separately each for the any combination for the compartments B and the inner container is divided into the compartments fabricating each for the compartment as a separate container with the joining of the cylinder if the cylinder must have the plate thickness not less than one required for the inner container shell must be applied with the outside surface with the straight flange portion of the container the cylinder must fit with the straight flight and it's tight with a distance at least two times the plate thickness of one inch whichever is greater it must be joined with the straight flange plate full fill the weld distant filling weld seam with the container head seam must not be less than one and a half inches with three times the plate thickness whichever is greater 179-220-10, welding. All joints must be fusion welded in compliance with the AR specification tank cars appendix with WIBRC, the 171-7 for the subchapter welding procedure welders fabricated in special approved radiosco radioscopy um, of the outer shell is not specification requirement. Welding is not permitted on or to inductile iron malleable iron fittings. 179-220-11, post weld heat and treatment. Post weld heat treatment of the inner container is not specification requirement. Post weld heat treatment of the cylindrical portion of the outer shell to which the anchorage of the draft seals are attached must comply with the AR specification of the tanker car appendix at W. When the cold formed heads are used for the outer shell, they must meet the high heated treat before welding the chute. Shell as post weld heat treatment is not practical to do the um, assembled procedures. 179-220-13, inner container manway nozzle. Inner container manway nozzle must be approved to design an excess open in the eight, at least 18 inches of the inside diameter, at least 14 inches by 18 inches above a brown or oval manway. Oval covers must be approved by the type of design, must be provided with a um, secure closure of the manway, must be must make it impo impossible to remove the cover while the tank is interior but under the pressure. All joints made with the manway covers and the seats must be made with the tie against the leakage vapor and liquid may be su usable su suitable gaskets. Um, um, manway covers must be cast in the fabricated metal complying with the subsection 179-227-G of the section seal must be provided between the inner container manway nozzle and the opening of the outer shell. 179-220-14. Opening of the inner container with the outer shell should be reinforced with the plans of air specification tanker cards appendix E, IBRC 171-7 for the subchapter. In determining the required reinforcement area of the opening of the outer shell, T shall be one-fourth of an inch. 179, 220, support system in the inner container. The inner container must be supported with the outer shell with the support and system with the adequate strength with the duct and duct ability operating with the temperature to support the interior with the container with a filled look with liquid landing with the any level. The support system must be designed to support without the yielding and impact loads procedures producing accelerations of the following magnitudes and directions of the inner container that is loaded with the, so that the car is at a railroad rail load limit and the car is equipped with the conventional AAR specification M901 draft gear longitudinal 7G transverse th transverse 3G and vertical 3G. The longitudinal acceleration may reduce the 3G with the Cushing device with the approved design with it has been tested to demonstrate the ability of limited forces of 400,000 pounds maximum 10 miles an hour per hour impact used between the coupler and tank structure. The support system must be approved. The design inner container must have the thermal isolated from the outer shell with the best practice extent with the inner container but the outer shell must be permanently bounded to each of the electrically either a supported system using piping or separate electrical connection approved design. 179.2.2016 Extension capacity. Expansion capacity must be provided within the shell container container as prescribed in statute 179-221-1. 179-220. 17 gauging device and top loading and unloaded devices depending on the air inlet, inlet the devices. When installed, each of the devices must be approved to design with the preventing interchange with any of the fixture. It must go tightly closed. Each of the unloading pipe must be securely anchored within your container. Each inner container compartment, therefore, may be equipped with one or a separate air connection with the character for the commodity for the, each of the car authorized reduce. Require these devices to be equipped with the valve fittings to do permanent loading unloading of the contents. The device include the valve shell provided with the protecting and housing except for the plug and ball pull type. The operating handle removed from the used and provisions must be made with the closing pipe and the connection for the valve. The inner container may be equipped with the vacuum relief valve with approved with the design. Protective housing is not required. For engaging devices required 179-221-1. For the outer ga scale gauge visible with the manway opening must be provided with the loading devices applied with the permanent tank loading of the coverage load of the tailpipe pipe may be provided with the telltale pipe must be capable of determining that the required outage is provided with the pipe must be equipped with a one quarter inch maximum. The MPT covered control threads must be outside the tank enclosed with the protective housing and other approved empty devices may be used for the place for the outer scale telltale pipe. 
The bottom of the tank shell may be equipped with a slump of the siphon bowl with the weld of the press into the shell with the slump of the siphon bowl supply which is not limited to size but must be made with a cast and forged fabricated metal. Each slump of the siphon bowl must be the good weld of quality in conjunction with the metal of the tank or shell with the slump of the siphon bowl is present in the bottom of the tank. The wall thickness for the press section not less than uh, but uh, not less than but specified for the shell with the section of the circular cross section tank with the, with the slump or siphon bowl is attached and needs not to comply with the outage roundness and the requirements specified in the appendix WW14006. Of the air specification of the tanker cars, any portion from the sump of the siphon bowl is not forming the part of the cylindrical revolution. Now, having the walls with such thickness must be such so reinforced with the stress and the walls caught with the given internal pressure of the are not greater than the circumferential, circumferential stress which may be exist under the same internal pressure in the wall of the tank and circular cross section designed in accordance with the statute 169.226A, 169.229. In no case there shall be the wall thickness less than the specified thickness fill, specified filed specified in 169.221.1. Protective housing will, well, when recovered, required, must have the improved material, must have covering the wire, wire cover high walls, not less than 119 thousandths of an inch, th thousands of an inch thickness. 179, 220, 220, bottom outlets. Um, the inner container may be equipped with the bottom outlet. Bottom outlet with improved design and opening provided with the outer shell with the access to comply with the bottom outlet must comply with the following requirements. All right, the extreme projection of the bottom outlet equipment may not be more than allowed with the appendix E with the AAR specification with the tanker cars, IBR is 171.7 of the subchapter. All bottom outlet reduces for the closure of the attachment shall be, shall be secured with the, uh, to the car at least 1 3 of an inch of the chain equivalent except with the bottom outlet closure of plugs may be attached by a 1 quarter inch chain. Bottom outlet closure in combination with the cap and valve type of the pipe connection or the cab album shall be closed with the plug. Cap of the bottom outlet equipment shall be included but only with the valve reducer closure with the necessary for the attachment render loading fixtures. The permanent attachment of supplementary exterior fittings shall be approved by the AR Committee of the tanker cars. Two, each bottom outlet must be provided with the liquid tight tank closure in the lower end of the valve. The operating mechanism must be applied with the outside of the bottom of the inner container with the valve. The operating mechanism must be provided with a suitable locking arrangement to ensure positive closure during transportation. For the valve outlet and nozzle valve body, with must be uh, fabricated, must be cast or fabricated, forged metal with the weld the interior and inner container, but they must be with good weldable quality. In conjunction with the metal of the tank, the provided with the attachment of the unloading the connection bottom of the main portion outlet nozzle valve body, some fixed with the attachment there too must be provided with the therm and cap closure arrangement, bolted flange weight closure arrangement, having the minimum one inch thread to pale up high plug. Six in outlet. If an outlet nozzle of the closure extends below the bottom of the outlet shell, the outer shell, the V-shaped bracket shell, groove shell, be cut. No casting in the upper part of the outlet nozzle with the part of the point of the immediately below the lowest part of the valve close to the thing. In no case, may the nozzle wall thickness of the root of the V be more than one quarter inch for the outlet nozzle with the valve, valve, valve body may, uh, may be subject to this, but may be steam jacketed. In which case, the breakage or groove the or in its equivalent must be below the seam chamber above the bottom of the center slope of the construction. If the outlet nozzle is not a single piece of the exterior valves that are equipped, the provision shall be made with the equivalent of the breakage groove on the cars without continuous center slope of the breakage groove or its equivalent may not be more than 8 15 inches below the outer shelf on the cars with the continuous center slope of the breakage groove equivalent must be above the bottom of the center slope of the construction. Some of the valve body must be thickness with the well preventing preventing distortion of the valve cell so being involved with any charge of the core and contour shell resulting from the exposure expansion and landing and in any other case which would ensure the accidental breakage of the outlet nozzle will occur with below the V groove or its equivalent. Either valve must have no wing for the seam projection below the V groove with its equivalent the valve seat but must be readily accessible with removable for repairs including grinding. Inner container may be equipped with the bottom washout with the proof of the design. If applied, bold and bottom washout must be complied with the following requirements. Extreme projection of the bottom washout equipment may not be more than allowed in appendix E of the AR specification with the tank cars. Two bottom washout must be cast of forged or fabricated with metal. It shall be welded with an interior inner container with a good weldable quality with the conjunction with the metal of the tank. The washout nozzle extends below the bottom of the outer shell. V shell V shaped breakage groove shall be cut with no cast for the upper part of the nozzle and point with immediately below the lowest part of the inside closure. See with the plug in no case the may the valve um, nozzle but um, wall thickness at the root of the V be more than one quarter inch when the nozzle is in single by one. Not a single piece of the provision shall be made with the equivalent. The breakage groove of the nozzle must be uh 
Thickness to ensure the axial breakage will occur with the load of the V groove of the equivalent on the cart without continuous center sill. Breakage groove with its equivalent be not more than 15 inches below the outer shell on the cart's continuous center sill of the breakage groove. Um, or its equivalent must be above the bottom of the center sill of construction. The closure plug and seat plug must be re readily accessible for removal of repairs. Closure and washout nozzle must be equipped with a three quarter inch solid screw plug. Plugs must be attached by at least a one quarter inch chain. Joints made between closure and their seats must be casketed with a suitable material. 179, 220, 220. Reinforcement used with the improvements. There's no other, otherwise specified. All attachments in your container and outer shells must be applied with approved means. 179, 220, tw um, 22 closure openings. All plugs must be solid, but the MPT threads must be length with which with the screw with the these thick threads inside the facing fitting of the tank plugs when inserted with the outside of the outer shell tanks must have the have the letter S at least three eighths of an inch in the side of the sand and steel tan cast iron outside surface indicating the plug is solid. It is solid. Openings in the outer shell during the construction of the insulation must be closed with the approved manner. 179, 220, 23. The test of the tanks. Each, each mini container compartment must be tested hydrostatically to the pressure specified in 179.221.1 with the temperature pressurizing measure medium measure not exceeding 100 degrees Fahrenheit during the test. The container must hold the prescribed pressure for at least 10 minutes without leakage and evidence of uh, a distress safety relief device must be um Place for the test made with the inner container with it must be pressure tested with the insulation within the outer shell. The items which because of the assembly sequence must be welded in the inner container with the after its insulation without outer shell must have the attachment well thoroughly inspected with the non destructive die perm penetration method of its equivalent. Pressure testing outer shell not equivalent to specification requirements. 179, 220 from 24 testing pressure relief. Each safety relief valve will, must be tested by air gas compliance with the 179, 15 before getting cut off and put into service. 179 225 stamping. The certified the tank complied with all the specification requirements. Each of the outer shell must stamp plainly, permanently stamped the letters figuring three at least three eighths of an inch high and in that metal net in metal near the center of the bolt, the outside heads as follows. Examples of requirements, specifications, um, inner container, outer shell, can or car assembler. 179, 220, 26. The outer shell with the jacket of the outer shell insulated must be sensible in compliance with the air specification of the tanker cars appendix C, IBRC 177. This is 171.7 for, for this subchapter. Stencils must be applied with the bolt side of the outer shell with the jack of the center line with the figure at least one half inch for the eye with the indicator of the safe upper temperature limit applicable for the inner tank insulation of the support division. 179.221 individual specification requirements applicable to tanker cars consisting of an inner container supported with an outer shell. 179.221.1 individual specification requirements in addition with 179.220 with the individual specification requirements are as follows. Dot specification limit of insulation, bursting pressure, and PSI, minimum Plate thickness, test pressure, PSI gauge, bottom outlet, bottom washout, and reference number. Subpart E specifications for multiple unit tanker cars, classes dot one oh six A and one ten A AW. 